The clock with a possible solution to Summerlin's old leaky oil wells. The problem has gone on for decades, polluting local beaches. News Channel 3 senior reporter John Palmentary joins us live. And John, you have information about a solution to stop the leak. And you know, we've been here before with this story, but now this leaky well has got a target, an X on it, if you will. The State Lands Commission and others have been here. And this dates back to the turn of the last century, back in the 1900s, when the original oil wells were here. But now, because of this pollution that just keeps coming to the surface, they have funding, they have a solution, they're trying to put all the pieces together. We've been talking about this for months and months and years in this county. With an aging, abandoned, polluting oil well leaking for decades in nearshore waters off Summerlin, a solution to firmly cap it may be at hand. But the nonprofit Heal the Ocean, one of the driving forces in the solution, says several agencies and politicians need to make the key funding moves. Help. Help us get this. I mean, it's, it just seems unbelievable. In August, the problem was so bad, the beach was closed and a town hall meeting was held with upset residents. Just a few weeks ago, crews with heavy equipment found the leak called the Becker Well, marked it, and a repair plan is being formed. At the same time, some of the money has been found to pay for the repairs, and there's an urgent effort underway to stop this source of pollution. Um, Heal the Ocean found $1.5 million in a clean water grant to pay for the repair, um, but a quarter of a million dollars is still needed by November 30th for the environmental study. The question was, Somebody has to run the grant, but we need CEQA, the environmental document, the environmental work, and that's $250,000. So right now, our whole thing has been searching for the CEQA money, the $250,000. And as part of this project, a broader look at the Summerlin Coast will take place. It also includes a survey, an aerial survey to, to see that not only that what work is done on capping Becker onshore well has done, but where some other seeps are coming up. So this plan is coming together about as close as it ever has right now. They need to come up with that other quarter of a million dollars for that environmental report. And they need to do it by the end of this month in order to get everything in motion. Or else we're told it'll be another two years before it'll all come around and the funding will come back around again. Reporting live overlooking the Summerlin Beach this evening, I'm John Palmentary, News Channel 3.